So we are transforming. We are changing seasons. And I think it's the perfect time to release everything that does not serve us and create space to bring in just high frequency love. That is what I have been doing. I have been creating a healing pod every night and now I want to do one here in this beautiful sacred space of mine. Of course, that's my space. <laughs> oh, girl can dream. So, <clears throat> wherever you are, deeply inhale. And as you exhale, sit deeper inside yourself. Let your feet touch the ground and your roots are effortlessly extending out to meet the roots that surround you in the earth and the ground. And your roots continue to go down through rock and water, maybe some fire. And you come to this, did I say water? Definitely water. And you come into this cosmic looking space within the earth and it's open and vast and at the center of it is a rock or a tree and my roots so happily wrap around it and it lights up as well it's happy to meet my roots and it's happy to send <clears throat> the loving strength and purity and radiance and magic that the earth has sending that up. It's sending up a sense of safety and knowing, knowing you have a tribe, you're not alone. Deeply rooted and as the strength and warmth and love from the earth is filling your roots, coming up into your feet, into your legs, filling your entire body, arms, legs, fingers, head, and poof, your crown chakra opens into a beautiful white lotus flower. <sighs> And it's like an exhale. And on the inhale, it's beautiful, divine, heavenly light shining down. It can be more than one color, but all the colors are radiant and almost bioluminescent in nature. And now that beautiful energy is just showering down through your head and your brain and your neurotransmitters are lighting up happily and connecting. Everything's crossing over. Your chakras are open and humming and dancing. And you're rooted to the ground and your body is sort of swaying. You are where earth and heaven meet. It is in your heart, it is in your energy, in this divine space that lives within you all the time, all the time. And we forget, I forget. such a beautiful high frequency space when you open up to God and the universe and all the energies, all the healing, radiant energies that are here to help us, our guides, our angels, <clears throat> our inner light connects to all of the source energy light that exists. 
and that was just a crow crowing. Actually, it sounded like a hawk to me. But I take that to mean that our shamanic friends are here with us now, blessing us, blessing our connection with Earth, and giving us strength, strength to stand as a being of light. Sometimes you have to be a warrior of light, but a warrior can be gentle. <sighs> That's the energy I like to work with, the gentle warrior energy. So I am making the affirmation that in this place of power, personal energetic power that I am in right now, that in this new season, my light will shine brighter. Even if the days are getting darker or shorter, it's not getting darker, the days are just getting shorter. <laughs> And that's okay because there's starlight and there's moonlight and there's our light. There's our magical light inside of us and that's what shines so brightly. Imagine that light shining, shining through your groin, your first chakra, growing into the second below the navel to your solar plexus, to your heart, where it, it just beams out, connecting to universal light. There's a heart vortex that connects with heaven's energies. <clears throat> and it's this space where we can ask for love and confidence and healing and a sense of knowing and connection and a sense of belief and faith that things are going to work out and all of your energy systems are supporting you and your heart chakra is just blooming and that's making your throat chakra and all its chambers bloom and sing and dance expressing themselves beautifully while it listens to the wisdom that's all around. And your third eye chakra just blossoms and you open like French doors and maybe some psychic debris just blows away with the wind. And this area is now just a bright violet beautiful light, intuitive center. You're able to see things from a higher perspective. You're able to see things with love, through love and trust. And then you come to your crown chakra where it just opens like a lotus flower, a shimmering bioilluminescent lotus flower. And little white lights are leaving messages, messages, things that you're manifesting, sending up into the source energy. Your prayers, your gratitude, your love your intention for how you want your life to be and heaven's radiance is shimmering down shimmering down through every cell every space that exists that is you all of your energy centers 
You are connected with everything. You are at one with everything. Your energy centers are all in harmony. All of your energy systems are singing and humming with love and joy. And you allow this. You deserve this. Breathe that in. You are a walking high vibration healing pod. <laughs> Call it what you will. This space is fluid and it belongs to you and it's a two-way filter to the world and it filters out what you don't need and or what you may pick up along the day or from a person or situation anything coming at you that doesn't serve you it just flows through you it doesn't even have to come near you your auric field in this sacred pod, healing pod, is always around you. <clears throat> and that is just a beautiful space to be in. To be able to walk around knowing that your energy, your own energy has got your back. <laughs> Your own energy's got your back, but even more than that, you've got guides and you have helper energies and you have all the energies in the collective consciousness to tap into. And you can choose what you tap into. You can choose what comes into your field. I always say only loving and high vibration healing, happy, playful energies are allowed to come into my energy field. And that I generate love and light and gratitude to everybody and everything. And to all of you listening right now, thank you. Thank you for listening to this. I hope it was helpful. It was just a uh, stream of consciousness and it felt very grounding and powerful to me. And I hope it did to you as well. Maybe I'll just hold my phone up. For anyone who just wants to stay in this space. And maybe I'll put my phone down. Facing upward. For anyone who is just digging the space. I am digging the space. And I'm having a sip of tea. I'm going to just continue doing my work with the trees and the rocks. And I'll just let the uh, camera roll. I'm sure that's a really attractive view. <laughs> oh God, it feels great to be barefoot. It's still warm enough to be barefoot. And I can, hello. Oh, hello. So I'm really doing this for me. And I hope you join me. Let this be a stream of consciousness where you're raising your vibration to 
your ideal energy situation and you're seeing yourself floating or walking and seeing yourself where all of your energy systems are just harmoniously working together and you're happy and you're solid and you're grounded and now you're standing on a rock and you're holding on a tree and you're saying hello Instead of saying like it's okay, like you're giving me the energy of it's okay energy. <laughs> I actually feel like it's okay. It's more than okay. It's more than okay. And in my mind's eye, I see light. I see light and I see almost like flowers sprouting, but they're not petals, they're like beams of light, and they're shining. And they were just like pumping up my uh, third eye. That's awesome, thank you. Yeah, so these I don't know how to describe it, if you can imagine it in your mind's eye, like a sprout that has a base and it has, you know, like kelp-like uh, arms extending up firmly, not too, it's very soft though, it's very flexible, and um, it comes up and um, and it shines its beautiful violet sparkly light into your third eye. And then it floats away like a jellyfish. Mm. Oh, wow. I'm just hugging this tree. It is such a great place to be. It is the best place to be in the world for me right now. I feel safe. I feel connected. I feel like everything is okay. Wow. Thank you guys. They really did give me the gift of feeling okay. <laughs> so strange. I'm aware that's so strange. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know it's strange. But it's true. So be it strange. <sighs> Carry on. <coughs> Carry on I shall. <sighs> Mm, I swear, I smell like pancakes or syrup. Mm, I think there's sap coming out of this tree. 
Ew. This tree smells real good. Hmm. Hello, bird. Hello, birds. Hello, crickets. Thank you for your sound. completely connected with everything. I'm a part of this tree. My roots are a part of this tree. My heart is a part of this tree. And this tree is connected with everything. I feel like I am exactly where I am, standing on this rock, having this tree. It's like the cosmos is all around me. Mm. I have a very deep connection today to the Pallades. Um, I need to write about that experience when I was in Guatemala with John Perkins and the sacred ladies temple called for me to come in. I was totally on my own. I guess I'm telling the story. I was totally on my own. We were in Tikal and I was walking around on my own through the forest and I came upon this ruin that had a pyramid shaped door, if that makes sense, you know, the top is just pointed, and it was dark, completely dark, I had no idea what was on the other side, and this is a place that like every, like, you know, every step you took, you were stumbling over a very pyramid, um, so... I wasn't sure whether I should go in and I felt really called to go in and it was and I said okay I'm gonna trust and I walk into this complete darkness I can't see at all <laughs> I, and I choose not to turn my light on because I'm aware that this is an experience I'm surrendering to because you know I'm on this trip and doing shamanic work so I surrender to this invitation and I'm just feeling the sides and it's mossy and it's wet and then it turns and then I see the exit and then it enters into like a courtyard, but it's a ruin. And um, I spent some time there, did some energy work there and then it told me to go. Then that night we were uh, told we were being allowed to go into a very special temple, the Pallades Ruin Temple. <coughs> and when we uh, got there at night, they said, you know, you had to be invited in. So there was the shaman there saying the blessing before we could walk in. And I had told my friends about my experience and my friend Teresa who I have gone on a few shamanic trips with she's like hits me she's like this is what you were talking about and I was like it, this is exactly it this is where I was earlier today so and then we went on to have a very very great uh, deep shamanic journey in there that night um, where I developed something I call the Pallades Hug, where you hug yourself, um, you hug yourself by, uh, putting your left hand over, I realize the phone is there, but I'm still so connected to this tree, I can't let go, you... Put your right 
you put your right hand on your left shoulder and your left hand on your right waist. And you put your head down on your right hand that's sitting on your right shoulder. And you hug yourself. And you like rub yourself and, and just saying like, I love you, I love you. Quietly saying good things to yourself. Proud of yourself. You're connected. Thank you. I'm grateful. You know, whatever. Um, but that's the Pallades hug. Um, I'm just gonna go back to hugging this tree. Oh my god, it's the best thing ever. <sighs> just imagine the energy of nature is powerful. It's strong. You know, it can kill us or keep us alive. Well, that's what it does do a lot of times. <sighs> nature, mother nature. Everything's so symbolic of our inner and outer worlds. You know, we're all just self destructive in a way. In some way, I am, well, <laughs> I am speaking for myself. I can be very self destructive. But I am letting go of that story. I have let go of that story. But sometimes it likes to think that we're all rears its ugly head. <sighs> and that's when I just surrender. Surrender. Standing on a rock and hugging a tree <laughs> in the middle of this beautiful field on a back road in Hudson Valley. That's not a back road anymore because everyone goes on it now. All of us original back roaders are a little upset. <laughs> oh, thank you, tree. Thank you, thank you. I just feel and I want you to envision this happening to yourself. That you're hugging a tree and that your heart is connected to that tree. Let your heart connect and it feels really just bright and open and spacious and pure. <clears throat> and it just sends in love and support. It sends in with all just the beautiful energies. I'm seeing green and pink and gold and stone. Just open my heart. This tree's heart, my heart to your heart, my heart to your heart, my heart to your heart. I thank you so much for connecting with me and giving me love, giving me a sense of community and safety and oneness, that I'm not alone. I can feel my energy is connected to all of the nature around me. The birds, the leaves, the ground, the sky. Everything's buzzing with life. I am life. We are life. We are life connecting together to love through heart energy and this heart energy is just filling you up just beauty and love and love love <laughs> that's all I can say love and light mind's taken in as much as it can and it's 
like wrapped itself in these white um, like almost like a shell but it's my heart and my heart is just strong and it, every cell is healthy strong communicating Thank you, Tree. Thank you, Tree, so much. Thank you, all the nature, all the birds, all the crickets, all the energies around us right now, connecting with us right now. Thank you so much for sharing your beauty and your love. Just this, it's beyond unconditional love. It's like the source of love itself. That's what we're tapped into, the source of love itself. You are safe. You are safe. It's safe to be here. I am safe. I am so safe to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. vibration. Tree, I feel like I can't let go of you. I feel like I'm inside you. <clears throat> and sometimes it's okay to say, this is a very high vibration and I love it. I want it to keep coming, but gently and in stages so that as I can handle it. And right now, I feel very, like, full of this beauty, and I'm surrounded by it, and I'm grateful. Thank you. I think that is good for this session. And, you know, we're connected now completely, totally. I can connect with you anywhere I am, and you can connect with me anywhere you are. Well, you're staying here. <laughs> But if you want to reach out to me, you know how to kind of get my attention so our hearts are connected. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you for slowing down my energy. Yeah, that was very, um, that was very intense for me. So, now I need to just integrate frequency and just process that. So if all the energies I'm connected with could help me process that. It feels like that's an option. And now I'll just be relaxed and comfortable on this new vibration of love and compassion and oneness and just being good just being a good person and being so connected to the trees and the birds and the roots I feel like I'm inside this tree actually wild I wish I could stay here a hundred years, but I'm going into New York City tomorrow, and I have to do some stuff. It's 
trying you to gently say thank you and begin to let go. Goodness gracious, not at me. But this is a new phone. And I don't want it to break. Okay, so I'm going to put it down. You know what? I'm going to say thank you for joining me. Thank you for sticking with me. This last part I'm going to do on my own. Wishing everybody much, much love and light. Much love and light and radiance and connection to you. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you so much for listening.